what's happening what's going down you guys thank you for tuning in yet again dark night entertainment television i'm your host robbie d we are at criminal records in little five point and i am standing next to a a legend a producer a dj ladies and gentlemen if you guys don't know some of you are already familiar with this gentleman so messiah what's happening man what well, is going doing, down man? i'm strong hanging in there too black too strong Indeed. yeah so <laughs> bruh what is going on deck with you or should we start at the beginning about my man so messiah i mean okay as you as you said i'm a dj traditionally and a producer and uh like you can tell with the clothes that i'm wearing the culture of hip-hop is what i deal with food clothing yeah. and hip-hop and uh you know the foundation of hip-hop is the dj because we yeah. control the music you know yeah. what i mean so with that being said uh i deal with the purest form of hip-hop whether it doesn't matter what coast i'm not in the coast south north east west it's just the, the purest form of hip-hop and you know i'm glad that you said that and a lot of something that a lot of people don't know understand and really realize is the first hip hop producer is the DJ. Exactly. The DJ. You have to really explain to those out there because you've been around for a while. You've had the opportunity to travel, to perform, to uh, deal with a lot of uh, um, viable artists out there and whatnot. And some of the young folks out there don't really understand. Like it was Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, Eric B and Rakim, Pete Rock and CL Smooth. Yeah. <laughs> keep it going. Explain to them. I mean, the well, DJ is the, the the first producer, really. You know. And and what you will find out is most producers are traditionally DJs. Most of them come from DJing, whether it's uh, DJ Drama, who's now dealing with production, who's a DJ, whether it's Just Blaze, who's a DJ, DJ Toomp out of Atlanta, who was a DJ. We came up together DJing. And when, when I was younger, you had an MC and you had the DJ. And the DJ, we would take breaks and we would go back and forth with the breaks and that's what the DJ, that's what the MC had to rap over. And that's why you hear, it'd be DJ Premier with Guru, it'd be Pete Rock with Sue L. Smooth. The DJ's name was actually yeah. first. Yeah. because he was the star and then the rapper helped him out but as you know how the industry goes they changed the game around and they separated us they took the rapper made put him in front put the right. dj in the back and then separated us and that's a game in itself though and, and what is your opinion on that and as far as you being around as far as history and history concern and you being there and, and seeing some of these 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 transitions and things happening in, in hip-hop what do you think was the cause of that and and where do you think it's going to the next level well 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 actually how it started was at one time you would have a dj with the mc right, right. and then i remember back in the mid 80s we started getting record deals and what they would do is they would come to the rapper yeah. corporations would come to the rapper and say hey man we're going to give you this much money but you can't bring your cousin who's a DJ or your brother or whoever it is, your mentor, you can't bring him, we're gonna pay you. And so the rappers, you know, coming from the communities that we come from, we never had money or saw money like that. Yeah. So when they offered you this amount of money, you were like, well, you know what, you tell your DJ, I gotta go and they're gonna have me do this. And that's where it started. Yeah. But then the producers and DJs got smart and we started controlling the music, whether it's right. with publishing or starting on labels or having the rappers sign to the producers. And then it brought, brought us back into the forefront. So you got your Timberlands, you got your uh, Ninth Wonders, you got your DJ Toomps, you got all these producers who now are able to make their way and people pay them good money. And you can't even have a, it's like, you can't have what this guy, Gucci Man, you can't have him without Zaytoven. Right, right, you know what right, I mean? Right, right. Zaytoven's the star, just like Gucci's a star. You can't have Jeezy without Shorty Red. You know what I mean? Or DJ Toomp without T.I. Yeah, and see, this is my opinion, and this is what I see, and a lot of people are understanding and realizing that, okay, at first, like we had talked about before, the DJ is the back man. He's the one that put the whole thing together, but the rapper is the front man, the person everyone sees. And the, subsequently, the DJ is also branding. Mm -hmm. that artist but now the DJ is like well wait a minute now I have to brand myself and now we're taking it to another level with being producers and, and things of that nature I want to talk about that a little bit more we're gonna take a break we're gonna come back so Messiah we had criminal records little five points ATL Georgia your boy Robbie D Dark Knight Entertainment hope to spot you got you guys <laughs> 